In this video, you'll learn how to configure traffic shaping on your FortiGate to limit the bandwidth for a specific IP address. When a particular IP address on your network is using too many resources, you can prevent that IP from consuming your bandwidth indiscriminately. First, you'll create an address object to target a specific internal IP address. Then you'll create an internet access policy for that IP address and enable traffic shaping. When that user attempts to upload, the shared traffic shaper will restrict the bandwidth limit to 200 kilobits per second. You will also use a reverse shaper to restrict the bandwidth on downloads. Go to System, Config, Features, and click the Show More button to view additional features. If necessary, select On to enable traffic shaping, and apply your changes. Go to Policy and Objects, Objects, Addresses, and select Create New to define the address you would like to limit. Set Category to Address. Enter the name Limited Bandwidth. Set Type to IP Netmask. And Subnet IP Range to the internal IP address you wish to limit. Lastly, set Interface to Any and make sure it will show up in the Address list. Next, go to Policy and Objects, Objects, Traffic Shapers, and create a new Traffic Shaper. Set Type to Shared. A shared shaper affects upload speeds, whereas per IP shapers affect both upload and download speeds. In this example, you could just as easily use a per IP shaper, but using a shared shaper gives you more options. Shared shapers allow you to distribute a set amount of bandwidth to be shared by all policies using the shaper. However, in this video, select Per Policy, because we want all policies using this shaper to get 200 kilobits per second each. Set Traffic Priority to Medium. Set the max bandwidth to 200 kilobits per second. If you would like to set a guaranteed bandwidth, make sure that it is lower than your configured max bandwidth. Go to Policy and Objects, Policy, IPv4, and create a new security policy to limit bandwidth for the IP address you configured earlier. Set Incoming Interface to your Internal Interface, Source Address to Limited Bandwidth, Outgoing Interface to your Internet Facing Interface, Destination Address to All, Schedule to Always, Service to All, and Action to Accept. Enable NAT. Enable Shared Shaper and Reverse Shaper and select Limited Bandwidth from the drop-down menu. The Shared Shaper restricts the bandwidth for uploads and the Reverse Shaper restricts downloads. For logging options, select All Sessions for testing purposes. Order your policies so that your new security policy is above your general Internet Access policies. The more restrictive policies should always be placed at the top of the list. Remember that the traffic priority will only have an effect if you have enabled traffic shaping in all your other security policies. The default setting for enabled traffic shapers is high, so setting the shaper to medium means it is lower priority in relation. When a computer with the IP you have specified browses the internet from your internal network, its bandwidth will be restricted. Go to Policy and Objects, Monitor, Traffic Shaper Monitor, and set the Report By option to Current Bandwidth. If the standard traffic volume is high enough, it will top out at the maximum bandwidth defined by each shaper. You can see that the bandwidth does not exceed your set limit. Change the Report By option to Dropped Packets to get a better idea of whether or not your traffic shaper settings need to be adjusted. Thank you for watching. For more information, you can access Fortinet's documentation library at docs.fortinet.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this one.